21 days, we've been doing a coaching session. These coaching sessions have only been about 10 minutes long and hopefully they're making a difference in your life. If this is the first video that you've seen, I do encourage you to go back and start from the very beginning. What we've been doing is, is we've been working on our goal processes. In fact, for 31 days, I've been encouraging you to write down your goals. And what's happening or what should be happening is that our goals are actually progressing, that they're actually becoming better as we go along. They're becoming more detailed and they're actually implementing themselves into our lives as we go through this process. We've also gone through this step-by-step -step process of learning how we can plan for these goals and how we can start implementing them. And that's what we've been working on lately. Today, what we really want to do is as the last session, I want to take the opportunity to thank the women in, out there who have actually made a difference in our lives and made, made us who we truly are. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're following the women in our lives who are actually making a difference in our life. And that's what we're really going to take a look at. We've been going through the book of Proverbs and today is the 31st day, so we'll do Proverbs chapter 31. And most of us know that Proverbs 31 is about the virtuous woman. It also gives us some key implements that we can use in our leadership tools for us as men and women and everyone alike. So we wanna make sure that we use the things that God gives us to become our best us. And ultimately that's what we wanna do. Now don't forget to download a copy of the goal worksheet, which is down below. Write down your goals like you've been doing from the very beginning. And you'll also find a spot in there where you can find out what you've learned from Proverbs. Again, today what we're gonna be doing is, is we're gonna be taking a look at the women in our lives. For the last 31 days, we've actually been looking at what Solomon has warned us about, and that is promiscuous women, prostitutes, and um, nagging women. And we wanna make sure now that we look for the right women that'll actually make a difference within our lives, whether we're men or whether we're women. So let's take a look at what Proverbs has to show for us. Proverbs 31.30 gives us a, a great picture of what we should feel about the women in our lives. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. One of the greatest attributes that any woman can possibly have is fear of the Lord. And if she's implementing that, then she's actually going to be very successful in everything that she sets her hands to. And isn't that a good example for all of us to follow? So let's take a look at what Proverbs chapter 31 will actually provide for us. There, the first couple of verses will actually talk about leadership and there's wise advice there for a leader. And this is King Lemuel. Now, King Lemuel is not, pro, not Solomon. This is not a code name for Solomon. This is not anything like that. What this is, is this is someone different than Solomon, but he takes the time to actually say, look, these are the things that my mother told me about not only being a leader, but actually the woman that I should be looking for in my life. So let's take a look at what that actually is. So the virtuous woman actually has several different attributes. One is that they're virtuous, obviously. The next is that they're actually business women, that they're actually wise, and then, then they finish up with the rewards that a woman like that will actually achieve. So let's take a look at what Proverbs can actually show us and help change in, within our lives, and then we'll take a look at the types of women that we should actually be using as role models. The sayings of King Lemuel contain this message, which his mother taught him. O oh my son, O oh son of my womb, son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. It's not for kings, O oh Lemuel, to guzzle wine. Rulers should not crave alcohol, for if they drink, they may forget the law and not give justice to the oppressed. Alcohol is for the dying and wine for those in bitter distress. Let them drink to forget their poverty and remember their troubles no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed, yes, Speak up for the poor and helpless, and see that they get justice. Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She is like a merchant ship, bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect the field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the poor and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothing. She makes her own bedspreads. She dresses in fine linen and purple gowns. Her husband is well known at the city gates where he sits with the other civic leaders. 
She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instruction with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Reward for her work and all she has done. Let her deeds publicly declare her praise. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we understand what it is that Proverbs actually provides for us. And if we look closely, we'll see that if we can look for the right type of woman who can influence us, then we know that we can be successful. And then that's what we want to take a look at. We want to take a look at three different things that we can start looking for as far as women go in our lives. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that they're not distracting us. And in fact, Solomon taught us from the very beginning that there are women out there that will actually distract us from what we, what we really truly want to accomplish. There's promiscuous women, there's prostitutes, and there are nagging wives. So if we can put those things out of our lives and start looking for women who can encourage us and actually make a difference in our lives, then we know that we're well on our way to success. Because as, as they say behind every success, successful man is a woman. So we want to make sure that we have these women that are there to help us and support us in the things that we want to do. Again, as if we're even if we're a woman, we want to make sure that we can do that. The second thing that we want to look for is, is do they support us in our goals? And we want to make sure that this applies to everyone within our team, not just women that we're choosing to be our spouses or our partners or anything like that. We want to make sure that everyone within our team actually supports the goals that we have. We also want to make sure that we're supporting their goals. And if I can combine those two goals together, then I'm going to see success in everything that I set my hands to. So let's look for somebody that actually supports our goals. The third thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that they can be an asset to what we want to accomplish. Now, I'm not saying we're going to use them as a tool and we're not going to use any type of woman for that. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we bring someone into the team, that they're actually going to be an asset rather than a drag on what we want to accomplish. Now, we can look through that, their processes of what are their goals, what are their desires, what do they want to accomplish with their lives. Is it similar to what our team wants to accomplish? And when we start bringing those types of people into our lives and we know that things are going to change and they're actually going to get better for us. So we want to make sure that we do all of these things in, our, in all of our relationships and make sure that it makes a difference in the way that we live our lives. So this being the last uh, coaching session that we have, I do want to encourage you to start looking for more of our content. You can always subscribe down here in the lower corner here. And when you do, you'll be notified anytime that we make a new post. And we'll be doing things like the Centurion Project, and we'll be doing a study on PTSD. All these things will all be encouragements, and I won't be charging you for any of those things. But you can always access most of our content by going to our YouTube page, and I'll make sure that I include a link down, that, down at the bottom of the page for that as well. So in the meantime, we want to make sure that we take these things and the things that we've done for the last 31 days and make a huge difference within our lives. Take these tools, go out and make a difference in somebody else's life, not just your own. And then you'll be a miracle going someplace to happen.